Hi, I'm Michel Boutou from Beyond Trust, and today we're going to look at another integration demo um, between Beyond Trust, uh, Power Broker Password Safe, and, and ServiceNow. And basically, what I want to uh, be able to show to you today is a little bit more technical than some of the other videos that I recorded recently. Uh, this is the uh, PowerSafe API guide, and in that guide, you can find some use cases or scenarios that are described and all the different uh, REST calls or web service calls that need to be orchestrated in order to satisfy those scenarios. The one that we're going to look at today is create a session. Um, and of course, we need to, to sign in, you know, uh, get a, a session uh, against the uh, password safe. Uh, then we can look at retrieving a list of, of accounts or a list of accounts specific to some systems. Uh, then I can decide to request a session for one of those uh, managed accounts. So it could be an RDP session or SSH session. I could also just be looking at, you know, uh, viewing the password, checking out the password. But today we'll look at uh, requesting an RDP session. Um, and then eventually once I'm done, I can, you know, check in my requests and sign out. And if I look at, uh, you know, what it looks like using the uh, password safe uh, GUI. So I'm connected right now as, as Marta Davis, so I can see a list of uh, my favorites here that I can request. Uh, some of them are Windows systems, others are Linux. I have some that are application. I can also look at the, the list of all systems that are available. I can look at the, all the databases. And right now I have a, a request that's active. And uh, this is for uh, the account called Elpdesk um, on a system called DC01. So what we will do, um, I will switch uh, to uh, to my ServiceNow interface. I'm connected to Service Portal here, and I'm using Istanbul. So this is the standard Service Portal. And since my application is uh, created as a as a catalog item, I can search for it. So so. I can just do a search here, and I have a few applications that are available. I could also publish it as a, as a button on my uh, user portal here. But let's pick create a, a session. So this is a simple application, um, and again, uh, it is available if uh, anybody wants to take a look at it, take it apart, or, or try to, to improve it. The, experience, the user experience is a little bit technical, but um, it is a very good example that shows how to orchestrate many of the uh, uh, web service calls, um, and it also shows a little bit about how password safe uh, handles requests and approvals. I'm going to use auto approvals today to speed up uh, things, but so what I can see here um, as soon as I load the form is a list of accounts that are available. I can also see a list of active requests. So the same request I was seeing for for the Elpdesk account on DC01, I can I can see it here i could actually request um request that uh, session here because it is uh, still active and what's going to happen is uh, uh, an rdp file will be made available for me so uh, basically you know these are the instructions here i could just copy the content of this file uh, into uh, uh, an rdp file a file with an rdp extension and then i could use that to start an rdp session um, and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to combine two different use cases in, in one. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll request a new, a new uh, session here. A new, uh, I'll, I'll just submit a new request. It's going to get auto approved for the administrator account on a system called App01. So what's going to happen behind the scene? A new request will be created, and then I will refresh my list of existing active requests and I should be able to see my 129 now so I see a second request and that second request would also show up in the uh, regular uh, password safe UI so I can see my new request here that has been auto approved in my password safe UI but if I go back to service now uh, now you know I should be able eventually to see my new request here let me just refresh my screen Sometimes there's a little delay. Here we go. 
So now um, I have uh, a new RDP file and I can just basically follow the instructions here. CTRL A, CTRL C, and then I can go to my, uh, my desktop. So I'm just gonna minimize my screen here. I'm just gonna create a new file. And I'm gonna call that my RDP session. And I'm gonna change the extension for RDP. And I'll just use a notepad and I'll copy the content of my RDP file into this uh, desktop file. And now if I double click on it, it's gonna start a session here. And this session is going to my uh, proxy and it is uh, you know, uh, available for session recording, full auditing, uh, and the user um, was never given the password uh, or, or even the temporary account that has been created um, for uh, for this session. Um, so I can take a look. I'm connected now to my App01 server, um, and I could you know generate some activity and all that, and look at the uh, session replay uh, or or the logs for for the session here. Um, but what I'll do here, I'm just going to close uh, this session for now. And eventually, you know, somebody could improve the user experience by providing a download link and all that. I didn't want to get too fancy here. My goal was more to illustrate how the, how the different API calls can be orchestrated. I'm just going to sign out of the session. And very quickly, I'm just going to go back to service now. I'm going to show you the configuration of the application. So again, it's based um, on a scoped application and everything is around a catalog item uh, here. So that is uh, the best way to create an application on ServiceNow. It, it's very easy to make it available anywhere uh, in the ServiceNow uh, user portal uh, or even on a mobile uh, device. And these are the different fields, including the one that contains my RDP file. It's a multi-line text. Um, and it's using a few uh, catalog client script for the client side uh, logic. So these are the different um, scripts here that I'm using to uh, basically get the requests, um, both the active request and the new requests that I'm creating using the application. And it is using behind the scene uh, Glad Ajax to submit some calls to uh, to the server for server-side uh, scripting. So I have my scripting clues here that take care of uh, creating a, a new session, uh, creating a request, get the list of managed accounts. And these are basically making uh, calls to the password safe API as described uh, in, the, um, in the API guide here. So that's it for that demonstration. And um, I will also try to feature other different use cases in, in, in upcoming videos. So thanks for, uh, for watching this video and uh, until ne next time, have a good day.